The Octonauts and the Narwhal. Captain, we're entering the coldest Arctic water. Now, coming up to an ice pack. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Aye, aye, Captain. At this speed, We'll reach the North Pole before nightfall. I can't wait to meet creatures that only live in the Arctic. Ah, the joys of polar life. I remember being a cub. Rolling in the snow, sliding on the ice, diving into the freezing water. I really miss it. Can't wait to get out there for an icy swim. <sighs> You're giving me the chills. I need some nice hot chocolate. It's only cold if you move slowly, Quasi. Keep swimming and you'll stay warm. It's as simple as that. In just a few minutes, we'll be out from under this ice pack. Then we can set the octopod down and... Uh-oh. What is it, Dashy? The octopod's getting so cold that my computer's frozen, Captain. I'm... I'm having trouble steering the ship. Yep. You better keep the octopod moving, or the engines will freeze and stop working. We can't let that happen, or we'll all be in... Big trouble. Dashy, activate manual steering now. Right away, Captain. Full speed ahead, Octonauts. It feels good to get my paws on the ship's steering wheel again. We're right back on course again, Captain. enough to slice right through the octopod like butter. But the captain will steer us safely through. Ow! Giant iceberg, dead ahead! Whoa! That was a close one, Quasi! <laughs> oh, the ocean deep is the life for me. Showing off from board, sailing out to sea on the octopod, just you and me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. Give me whiskers. Ice avalanche! Turn, turn, turn left! Turn right! There's nowhere to turn. We've got to stop the ship. Now. <gasps> Ten seconds till we hit the ice wall. <laughs> A fast, you mutinous, scurvy octopod! Stop! Six seconds till we hit the wall. Five. Hold on! <laughs> Three, two, one. It's okay. We've stopped. I know, but you're standing on my foot. Oh, sorry. Phew, that was close, mateys. Now what, Captain? If we can't go forward, then we go back the way we came. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ.
Captain, are we in trouble? Well, Peso, we're trapped here in the freezing cold waters of the Arctic Ocean, surrounded on all sides by ice, with no clear way to escape. So that's a yes, then? Ah, you know, these ice walls are often quite thin. It might be possible to break through one of them. Aye, let me out there in the gut B, Captain. I'll smash that ice to smithereens. Or I could add a drill to the gut D and... Uh-oh. I was afraid this might happen. What might happen, Tweak? We stop moving, and it's so cold that ice is clogging the engines, shutting them down. Cutting off all power to the Octopod. Ah, no good. The ice is too thick. If only I could find a place where the ice is thin. What's that noise? Captain, look over there. Something's breaking through the ice wall. <gasps> A blast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn! Ha! Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris! Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise! It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you, too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. But of course. My tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Arctic engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm gonna need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. Okay, everyone, here we go. Arr! One more time. Another solid wall of ice. Allow me, my friend. What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable. As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. You better swim aside, old friend. <laughs> Thank you, Boris. You're very welcome, old friend. Temperatures are returning to normal, sir. And the engines are starting back up. Good work, Octonauts. So, now that we're free, who'd care to join me for a nice little icy water swim? Uh, gotta go clean up the launch bay. Uh, uh, no thanks. I've got to, um, polish me spyglass. Yes, and I have to, um, uh, clean up the lab. Yes, that's it. 
On the octopod, just, just you, you and, and me. me. And a million fish in the deep blue sea. <laughs> <laughs>